Hey what's up y'all, I'm Bramble Gaming, the home of the gaming, and today we're going to be covering another racing game created by the same developers who made the amazing race with Ryan, introducing All Star Fruit Racing! Free game code provided by the 3D Clouds Development Team. So what is All Star Fruit Racing you might ask? Well, my lovely viewers, it's a racing game. No surprise there. This game, in fact, was actually 3D Cloud's first major title, and for a developer's debut game, it's actually surprisingly good. Definitely a lot better than their most recent racing game. I mean, what am I talking about? That game's a masterpiece! All-Star Fruit Racing is pretty much your standard cartoony racing experience. Sure, it's got some kinks here and there, but overall, I found this game to be fairly enjoyable. The graphics and aesthetics are very solid, the soundtrack's way better than I expected, and the controls for this game feel pretty dang good. There's a bit of delay between when you finish drifting and when you get the boost, but that's probably my only major complaint about how the game handles. And like my grandpa always used to say, if a game controls well, then it's gonna be swell. I do have to say though, there's not really a story in this game, I think some girl wants some treasure. And then she gets really mad about it, and then she's in a car. Uh, regarding the game's content itself, there's in total 20 different tracks that you can race on in this game, and I'm going to be honest, these racing courses are easily one of the highlights of the entire game. One of the tracks that stuck out to me the most was one where you were racing on a snake, I think, and your car's velocity changed depending on what color of the snake you were driving on. Another really fun track had you mad dash it around an entirely frozen kingdom to make it to Elsa's castle, while still another one had a T-Rex come onto the track itself and chase the players down in the third lap of the race. And there's plenty of awesome tracks in this game that I haven't even mentioned. There's a lot. A whole lot. I was seriously surprised at how many of these courses were creative, unique, and simply just fun to play because I wasn't expecting too much really going into this game. And speaking of unique and creative, one of the most well-crafted features in All Stars Fruit Racing is the way through which you can get items during races. Believe it or not, the item system here is a lot more complicated than just driving into a box and pulling a random power-up. See, how it works is scattered throughout all the maps are these little fruit bubbles that you're supposed to collect, sort of like the coins in Mario Kart. When you pick up these fruit bubbles, they'll fill up your item meters on the right, depending on which fruit you collect. If you pick up cherries, your cherry meter will fill up, if you pick up watermelon, your watermelon meter will fill up, etc, etc. Here is where this starts to get interesting though. Each fruit meter has a specific item that it gives you, and if you completely fill multiple fruit meters at once, they'll combine to make a different, more powerful item. So for example, if you fill up your cherry meter, you'll get a speed boost. But if you fully fill up your kiwi meter, cherry meter, and grape meter, they'll combine to give you an ice force field which will protect you from all attacks. There's actually around 15 different item combinations that you can make, which can actually lead to a lot of strategy regarding which fruit you decide is the best to pick up. I have to say, I seriously really like this item system. It's so much more strategic and better than just getting random items periodically, in my opinion. Although I guess it is worth pointing out that there is an option where you can just play with random items instead if you're a wuss. There's about 24 or so playable characters in this game, and they're all girls. Y you know, you can't play any boys. Only girls. Uh, there's also quite a considerable amount of customization in the game. There's multiple car skins and wheels to choose from, you can paint your cars and tires pretty much whatever color you like, and there's actually different options for your in-game horn. Naturally, I had to choose the most annoying one that I could find. Why? Well, just so I could do this. <sighs> Music to my ears. Of course, All Star Fruit Racing does come with its fair share of flaws. The loading times for this game are decently long, the user interface on the menus could really use some improvement, and I'm going to be honest, the sound design can be pretty dang annoying at times. I mean, unless you want to hear chickens from the sidelines clucking in your ears every few seconds. Overall though, I would say that All Star Fruit Racing is a good game. It's not perfect, but it's definitely fun and creative. If you like racing games such as Mario Kart or Crash Nitro Racing, then you might want to really consider picking this one up. Like my grandpa always said, if it's made by the developers of Race with Ryan, then it's gonna be swell. Thank you, grandpa. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching this review of All Star Fruit Racing. If you enjoyed it, then why not leave a like and subscribe? You could also check out the review I did on Race with Ryan by clicking the card on screen right now. Go ahead. I'm sure Ryan would be really happy if you did. Now, you don't want to make Ryan sad, do you? <laughs> anyway, with all that said, Ramble Gaming, over and out.